To keep it tip top secret, we're entering it with a chorus fruit. Let's go. There we go, zip zip. Wait a minute, rewind that. These few frames could expose the largest secret on the most popular Minecraft server. Probably. If you're a little confused, let me give you the rundown. Hermitcraft is currently the most popular Minecraft server. One of its members, Grian, decided to team up with several other members to make a revolt against the mayor. This group is called the Mycelium Resistance, and they needed a base of operations, so they built one right underneath the mayor's headquarters, but they got found out. So they've decided to uproot and move to a new location. And this is exactly what we're trying to figure out. I don't know about you guys, but when I watched that clip, I immediately thought, I wish I knew where that base was. Well then, this video is for you. We want to find exactly where that mycelium base is. Green is the one in charge of building this new base, and he hasn't given us any F3 screenshots or any indication as to where this entrance could be. This makes it a little difficult, but many of you might be saying, hey, they found PewDiePie's world seed based off of one screenshot and a couple hours of gameplay. Well, this is an entirely different animal. You see, we know the seed, but we don't know where in that seed it is. Okay, now back to that clip. The first thing that you might notice is that this is not any normal cave, it's actually a ravine, and this is very helpful because ravines are far less common than caves. The second thing you might notice is that there is obsidian, and this is extremely helpful as well because not every ravine has obsidian in it. Ravines with obsidian are only found at Y level 11 because, as anybody who's gone mining for diamonds knows, this is where you want to mine because it's right above the lava, but still next to the diamonds. Next is the gravel, and you might be thinking, well, that means it's an ocean biome, right? There's a couple layers of gravel, so maybe we should start looking in the ocean. However, this gravel is most likely there because green was getting rid of the lava. As you can see here, the obsidian is only one block thick, and this isn't normal for lava lakes found at this depth. Normally they go a couple blocks deep, so in my mind, I believe that this gravel was put here by Grian. We also have some ore deposits. As you can see here, we have iron and gold right next to each other. This is a helpful marker that we can use in the search for the mycelium resistance. The ravine also has three waterfalls. We need to keep this in mind when we're searching but we also need to keep in mind that this ravine can stretch on and include several other waterfalls, but we know that it includes at least three. Okay, I think we have the ravine pretty well covered. Now let's move on to the most exciting part of this and probably the reason why I made this video, the spawner. Yes, while he was digging out this base, he actually revealed the location of a spawner, and this is huge. Spawners do not just spawn anywhere. In fact, in a 1000 by 1000 block area, only 24 spawners appear in the Hermitcraft seed. This is huge. This means that in the entire Hermitcraft world, only 4000 by 4000 blocks, which might surprise you, there are 100 mob spawning chambers. This has narrowed our search tremendously. There's even a website that helps us find exactly where these dungeons are. As we can see here in the dungeon finder section of chunkbase.com, we know exactly where each of these spawners are. So all we need to do in theory is check each spawner, see if there's a ravine next to it, cross-reference it with the ore types, and then we should be able to find it. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the fact that we've narrowed down a 75 million block area down to just 100 locations. Now we can probably go about this with brute force, but as long as we're cross-referencing it with the ravines moving in a systematic pattern, we should be able to find this thing fairly quickly. It depends how many people we have working on it. And this is where I need your help. If any of you are Hermitcraft fans, or even if you don't watch the Hermitcraft series, but want to be a part of something that is uncovering a secret, then I encourage you to help me. Here's what we need to do. You need to take the seed W-L-L-B-Y-U-G, or will by g and load it into a Minecraft world and start the search. Now, as we can see from discovering the PewDiePie world seed, the Minecraft community is capable of amazing things, and I think that we can get this done. 
I've just loaded up my copy of the Hermitcraft World Seed, and as you can see, I've started marking out each and every mob spawner with a beacon. And to do this, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is type in three commands. This is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. Once you've typed in all those commands, it will actually make a beacon. Now, the only important thing to mention is that you need to stay in the same place when you make these commands because it's relying on your position. So, now that we know how to make beacons on each mob spawner, I've actually started marking out different methods to find exactly where this base can be. The first method is kind of just brute forcing it because you're just going to go into spectator mode and kind of just sweep across the landscape. Now, with the with this method, it's kind of important to stay low to the ground. This way, you're only seeing the ravines that have those lava pools, and you can also see the spawners a little bit easier. And then once you've gone as far as you want, you kind of just make a loop and head back in the same direction, scanning for those ravines. And once you've found a ravine that looks promising, it has that lava pool, you can cross-examine it with the other characteristics that we've mentioned. This one only has one waterfall, so that's automatically ruled out. It also doesn't have any of the other ore deposits or things like that that we saw previously. The second method, though, is probably a little bit better because you're going to take that same website that I said earlier, chunkbase.com, you're going to load in the Hermitcraft World Seed, and then you're just going to go to each dungeon and see if there's a ravine next to it. If there's not, you can move on to the next ravine and check that one. And the good thing about this is that I've already done a lot of the work for you. If we fly around a little bit, you can see a couple beacons scattered around, and these are the mob spawners that I found and ruled out. I've covered most of the area around the shopping district, and I don't think that's where they would hide it, but it could be. Just a bit of an editor's note here, I've included all the information and my world download in the description, so you don't have to start with a blank slate. And good luck hunting. So if you have a specific location that you think green hid the mycelium resistance, well then you can explore that location and actually see if it's there. And if it's not, well then we have even more data to handle. So all you need to do when you've looked at your location is drop that down in the comments below. I can cross that off my list and then we can move forward with this search. So if we can get just like 10 people to work on this, I think that we could actually find where this base is and that would make it all worth it. But that is the end of the video. If you like this, you might enjoy some of my other Let's Play videos. This one right here is a pretty good one. I'm putting a twist on the conventional Let's Play style, so you might actually just enjoy it. But I hope you enjoy your search for the mycelium resistance. And even if we can't find it, well, we had a good run. But that's it for me. My name is RecRap2, and I'll see you in the next video.